Hi everyone, I thought I'd just do a quick video to sort of let you know what's been going on since my injury where I um, broke my fibula at the uh, donut meeting in Essex. Um, so I'll sort of let you know how that was going, um, what's been happening on the bike, uh, how the recovery's going, that sort of thing. So um, so yeah, about five weeks ago um, I was in the GT140A final and um, I think on the second lap, uh, basically tucked the front, um, going into a turn, and um, looking at the photographs, which I'll show you in a minute, um, looks like my ankle got caught under the bike, and I think the engine casing came down the inside of my ankle, and basically broke the um, the, the fibula. So I'll show you a, um, I'll, I'll put a, a picture on now, the, the x-ray, you can sort of basically see a faint sort of V-line in the uh, in the bone there so um yeah that was obviously um a bit of a, a, a crap end to the season for me um, which overall has been been really really good um you know i've ridden the 500 class and the 140 class this season I had one spin on mark woods is cr250 power beast at the beginning of the year at frittenden um but yeah me and roy have been out quite a lot on the on the 500 ridden that i uh, did five meetings on the 500 and, and got a trophy up at uh, gw which was brilliant so dead chuffed with that um and yeah, been learning a lot. I've had lots of advice from from the grass track family, and uh, overall, it's gone gone pretty well. So um, yeah, looking forward to getting out on that next season. So the uh, the leg. Um, just thought I'd sort of tell you a bit about what's been going on with that. So yeah, overall, it's, it was you know I I was a yeah, true hero and uh, and rode the uh, five hundred with a broken leg. Um, had a pretty decent start to be fair. And I uh, got into the, I think I was third into the first turn and then put my foot on the ground and I was like, ah, yeah, that's not right. So I had that sort of stinging, shooting pain that comes with a broken bone. So I knew I'd buggered it up. So basically I kept my foot on the peg and rode round at a snail's pace and finished. But I think I finished seventh or eighth at that meeting out of about 10, something like that. So yeah, overall, you know, it was, it was pretty good. Um, then I basically... Um, Roy drove us home and all the lads kindly packed the van up for me so uh, that was fantastic thanks uh, to those that helped you know who you are and um, yeah we, we basically went back to Roy's unloaded all the bikes and then um, I didn't want to cause too much disruption to the, the wife and um, so I basically drove home with my old uh, tow car the old Beamer which is a manual so it's quite fun changing gears with a, with a busted leg but uh, anyway got it done got to the uh, hospital um, it was a Saturday night when I got there, it was about six o'clock, it was absolutely heaving, so I uh, waited for about four hours, got fed up, hopped out of there, literally, uh, and then, then went back home, and went back the next morning and went to minor injuries, and they x-rayed it and said, yeah, you've busted it, so anyway, I had um, four weeks on these, um, and then, uh, you know, that um, has been okay, obviously, but Bit of disruption at home with you know helping out etc with it with the young family and stuff but uh, the wife uh, looked after us very well indeed um and then had a week with one of these on so um that, that's a very fetching little number um and I had my checkup on monday this week so um yeah the the surgeon not surgeon the, the doctor um who was at the fracture clinic couldn't believe um how well i've been doing you know i had been pushing um you know myself and, and eating well and taking vitamin c d calcium pills and, and sort of doing as much stretching as i could um, all the time to try and get it healing quicker and it seems to have done the trick he gave me a load of tests to do which was sort of stand on your toes stand on your heel you know walk with your foot like this walk with your foot like that and um yeah he couldn't, couldn't believe it really so um that was obviously good news for me so um he said i could start uh, doing some light exercise which is cool so i've um kindly borrowed uh, if you can see there yep so i've got a turbo trainer set up there um, that I borrowed off a mate and I've been um, just getting in some um, I've done three sessions on it so far this week and overall it's gone, gone pretty well the ankle's still got a bit of limited movement on it but um, you know I think uh, obviously with the tendons and ligaments etc haven't moved for a while it's going to be a bit sore and painful so um, but overall we're making progress every day which is good so I'm gonna have another session on the on the bike this afternoon um, and hopefully go for a small walk and then we'll see how we go um, so that's that's the leg really completed um, and I'll tell you a bit about what's going on with the bike. So I just dragged the uh, the bike outside, I'll show you that in a minute, but um, yeah, so since the crash, um, the bike's been up at uh, Roy's house and Roy kindly, um, you know, straightened it out, um, had the forks apart, put some spare forks on it and uh, sort of generally gave it a once over, then it went 
Roy dropped it to Mitch's house and then Mitch got and rode it at the um, I Wade Winter Speedway Series, um, which was last weekend, and they uh, did really well on it actually. Um, great to see him out on it, having a proper rider on the bike. Um, but uh, yeah, he got a couple of thirds and a couple of firsts in his heats, which was brilliant. Saw some good, good battles with the GT140 lads, which was cool. Um, and uh, yeah, he uh, he enjoyed riding it, um, I think, which was cool. So big thanks to Mitch, and he made a few changes on the bike, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, and straighten a few other bits and bobs out as well. Um, but anyway, big thanks to Roy and Mitch for their help on the bike, and I'll give you a quick walk around it now. So here she is. I've given it a rebuild this week after it was at the speedway, and and sort of made a few little tweaks and changes here and there. Um, but um, yeah, overall, um, it's all looking pretty splendid. Um, the motor will be coming out hopefully this winter, and we'll get a bigger one in it for next year. Um, don't know what classes we're going to do, etc. But we'll have a, a chat with Roy and see what the crack is there. And regarding our plans for next season um, but yeah so uh, I have to fix the um, front mud guard that broke in the uh, in the accident so a um, bit of P38 bit of fiberglass and a bit of vinyl made that look half sensible I know it's the wrong shade of grey but uh, but there we are looks half sensible anyway um, Mitch put some um, some different fork bands on it and sort of got the front end okay um, between Roy and Mitch they straightened the front forks out re-welded the blades and did all of that stuff um, and then your subframe got a bit bent so um, I've strengthened that up you can't obviously see it under there but there's a couple of sort of support brackets coming down which I've um, sort of doubled up the material on there and sort of redone all that which looks good it obviously gave it a nice clean um, one thing Mitch uh, mentioned was my foot peg you can see that hole there and um, that's where the mounting was and he was saying that you want to keep the um, foot peg in this kind of orientation with it. its maximum lock there as you can see and mine was sort of swinging forwards which Mitch said you don't want to do on a grass bike so he's re-drilled that I'm um, so looking forward to seeing um, how that makes the bike ride a bit differently and changes in your position etc um, and yeah the rest of it's all pretty much as per last year really just give you a quick walk around this side but it's all looking all looking fresh and nice uh, ready for the season oh yeah one one thing that has changed is it's sporting a new um, Hagen adjustable front damper on it so a uh, big thanks to Mitch for that um, which was kindly donated to the uh, to the project so that's cool so uh, looking forward to trying out the, the front end now but um, yeah it's all looking all looking tidy ready for ready for next year right so we're uh, back in the man cave so yeah what's the plans for 2023 i hear you say or you probably don't really care but uh, anyway i'll tell you um so uh, we're going to keep the 140 engine in this for now that's why it's all sort of shiny and ready to go so we're going to give um, keep that in there and hopefully do some iwade meetings in the um, new year get out on that spin a few laps um see how the leg is and uh, obviously get bike fit again um do plenty of cycling on that do some weight training as well uh, and get myself um ready to rock and roll um and then yeah during the winter um you know to keep myself uh, sane and, and keep that racing spirit going i um basically race these buggies you can see i've got one or two um as well as an eight scale one there so um yeah basically we race these indoors it's really good fun it's warm and dry it's competitive like super competitive um race 10 of these around the track there's jumps and, and all sorts of good fun stuff and when you crash them it doesn't hurt it costs about five six quid to fix it if you do break break it so that's a, a lot of safer option so um so yeah um i finished 15th in the 500 um gradings list and 16th in the 140s because i stacked it a few times as you've probably seen um and uh, yeah so i think speaking to trev and roy and a few others and um, that puts me eligible for a spot in the british championships qualifier so we're going to have a crack at that but um overall really enjoyed riding the um 500 this year it's been awesome and ridden it five times got one trophy on it at gw which was cool um so making good progress on that and hopefully we can continue that into next season might stick a different motor in that so we'll talk to roy and see what he wants to do there as well um and that's about it so so yeah just um i was just gonna sort of mention this that um obviously winter's a bit of a weird time for us racers i know that um you know it affects me a bit I, you know and i'm sure it affects some of you guys as well i thought, I thought i'd just talk about it really and and just say that um I think that um you know as a, you know when you're into your racing etc you know you've always got something to plan for something to look forward to and and you know with with sort of winter really setting in now there's not much riding going on and what have you so um you know i'd say obviously throw yourself into the maintenance on your bike get absolutely tip top 
um, throw yourself into obviously your exercise as well. So, you know, get yourself match fit really. Um, you know, will certainly help things and it's good for the body and for the mind. And I think being fit and healthy, um, you know, if the unfortunate does happen, you have an accident, you can recover nice and quickly, um, which has certainly happened to me with this leg break, which, which was good. So, um, so yeah, obviously find another hobby, you know, I do a bit of the RC stuff during the winter, but there's obviously lots of other things that you can get involved in. Um, even just something simple as going for a walk in the morning, you know, it wakes the body up. It's good for the mind as well. Helps you clear your head. Um, and get out there and don't sort of eat too many mince pies and all that stuff. But, um, you know, I just thought I'd share that because it's a, you know, it affects us all. And, and, you know, just talk to someone, you know, just, you know, talking about um, how you're feeling really does sort of help, um, you know, help get it off your chest and help clear your mind, etc. So, you know, always good, um, you know, ring your racing friends, um, you know, people who've got a similar interest to you and have a talk about it or talk to, pe you know, loved ones that are, that are close to you, you know. Um, anyway so yeah just thought i'd uh, share that share that with you um anyway so yeah um a few thank yous really huge thanks to obviously my wife jules for, for manning the fort while i go away racing um and a big thanks to roy bridges for um all the opportunities given me and all the coaching advice and obviously um let me ride his uh, his golden 500 which has been fantastic this season um and thanks to Stu, um roy's son and francis as well you know um lovely family and and been fantastic for me uh, and and really really kind and supportive so that's really cool um hopefully we'll see Stuart make an appearance next season as well so watch this space um and yeah really just uh you know thank you everyone for watching and uh, thanks for supporting the channel um and um you know look forward to seeing you all again next year so um have a great christmas and new year um enjoy yourself celebrate with your loved ones and um i'll see you in a field um at the beginning of the season next year so have a great one everyone cheers bye